Welcome to Susquehanna Express. Today, Michael Gingrich will share about his book of daily devotionals for those living with cancer. It provides a scriptural passage for each day of the year, along with a short meditation and prayer. Thank you for coming. You're very welcome. What sparked your interest in creating a book of scripture passages for those living with cancer? I spent a lot of time counseling people who have, can have cancer. First of all, people you know in in my parishes, the parishes that I've served as a pastor, and then my my work at a foundation for people with cancer. I um, spent a lot of time talking with people on the phone, emailing them, leading support groups uh, with people around the United States and actually in other countries around the world. And I learned how important it was for people to have a spiritual dynamic and a spiritual base for the difficulties that they were going through. That, that, first of all, there's that. But secondly, and actually more personally, is my wife Kathy is a breast cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. So I know very much what it's like to live with cancer, to live, uh, to live with someone who has cancer. And I knew how important it was to have that kind of support, reassurance, and, and encouragement. So from your experience, have you found that it definitely is a holistic healing with the spiritual side of prayer and reading the scripture and being uplifted in that way. Does that uh, really help in the healing process? For just about everyone I've spoken with mm -hmm. and counseled, spirituality is very important. Even people who didn't have a strong depth or a basis for spirituality before they were, uh, you know, had cancer, it, it's amazing to see how many people will come back to that or, or come to that because they realize that they need something more and very much it uh, it is holistic I think mm -hmm. it, that's an important part of healing and survival and just dealing with the challenges that cancer brings how did you determine which scriptures to include in the book there are just so many I mean I think that the I believe that the, the Bible is just woven throughout with uh, passages about light and, ab and about hope uh, about survival, uh, you know, about reassurance and encouragement, that there's something bigger than, than we are, there's something greater, and that it was important to connect with those. So I tried to find passages that, that might point to that, that would give people hope. I also w found some that um, where people were allowed to lament, where, where they were allowed to, in, in essence, complain <laughs> or, uh, mm -hmm. about their situation and, and just acknowledge what they were going through and how difficult it was, but in, but in all cases, you know, always come back to, as the Bible does, to, to a place of light and a, and a place of hope. So, you know, those kinds of scriptures are the ones I tried to find. Yeah, I think that's interesting that you did allow not only uplifting and encouraging ones, but also ones that they can just let out their frustrations because God is welcome to hearing their concerns as well, you know. Um, so. Do you have any words of what to tell people who are visiting a cancer patient of um, how they can communicate? Sometimes people feel afraid to go and talk yeah, with somebody. Absolutely. I find that a lot. It, it, it's, it's amazing. Even in our own experience with, with my wife, we would tell friends or, or people we knew that, that she had cancer, and it was always sort of a, a conversation stopper. <laughs> people then didn't know what to say or how to respond. And, and I think that most people try to do their best. They, they really do, and they mean well. But I think that the the most helpful thing to do is, is basically to listen, to just allow someone to share whatever it is they're feeling and thinking and going through and you know, without judgment, without uh, giving them a hard time or trying to fix it or, or even trying to make it them, them feel better, just to really listen and allow them to acknowledge what they're going through. I think that's very helpful and very healing. Well, I, I know that your book is definitely influencing people to read those scriptures and have them all categorized for them. I was looking at your Facebook page and people really miss it if they don't get to That's read right. them. That's every right. Day. <laughs> so, so thank you so much for spending the time to write the book and just look through the Bible and find those passages that even from your own experience you know are going to be helpful. It's really a work of joy mm. and um, it's something I'm very proud to have done and, and hope that it will reach a lot of people and, and help them along what I know is a very, very difficult journey. Mm. So thank you. Thank you. So if you would like to find his book, you are welcome to check my blog at susquehannaexpress.blogspot.com and I'll have links up there of how you can get a hold of it.